Now this is uh, right next to my wife's head. Okay, what you're looking at is her alarm clock. What I want you to look at now is the EMF frequency that comes out of this. Welcome back, everybody. I did get my EMF detector for uh, electro frequency, radio frequency, like his Wi-Fi. Uh, I'm always looking around on this cam, but anyways, yeah. So uh, I, I'm i gonna show you guys here because if you're not caught up to speed, guys, you're gonna have to go back to the previous vids. But what we're talking about is directed energy and these microwave radiation frequencies that I've been saying they broadcast. Now, if you guys aren't aware that television sets are what's called scrying mirrors, and we'll talk about that shortly. Uh, scrying mirrors, well known to be used in witchcraft. Of course, any uh, black screen, such as a television set, okay, a, a flat screen, your monitor, your phone, okay, all of those are scrying mirrors. Those are actually, believe it or not, guys, they're actually portals for these uh, demonic energies. That's why it's important to watch these previous vids, especially the last one. Russ Dizdar explained on how they have weaponized uh, these devils, these demons that they have brought in through, through. I'm just going to say CERN 66 for an example, okay? And through all of these rituals and these Abaddon, to the angel of the bottomless pit, these uh, false flag rituals that they perform over and over and over. And this coronavirus is nothing uh, less than uh, more of the same. It's a sacrifice for the Antichrist Messiah that's coming. But that's for upcoming vids. I'm trying to stay on topic here, guys. Sorry about the lighting. Uh, it's another dark, dreary day out there. But we're going to take a look at this EMF detector. Now, the, the problem is, is that these, I had two sleep studies done years ago. <clears throat> and with those two sleep studies, I learned a lot about uh, brain waves and uh, how, how to get better night's sleep. And even the electro frequency, not just the microwave radiation frequency, but electro frequency that is in your house or in your room. That's why they say to shut everything off that you can at night in the bedroom. Uh, let it be all nice and dark with absolute, uh, you know, quiet, no sound, or uh, if you want to have white noise in the background, but you, you want to have no electronics on because those electro frequencies interrupt your brain frequencies. Even if you don't wake up throughout the night, what happens is you end up starting to feel, uh, you just get pulled out of that REM sleep, which is rapid eye movement sleep is when we regenerate our body's heel. So sometimes those electro waves that are fluctuating all the time, okay, they will pull us out of that REM sleep. They will pull us out of that REM sleep and we'll feel like garbage uh, as days go on as if we're just run down. And that's exactly what they want. But the biggest concern, guys, are the microwave radiation frequencies, okay? Now, let's get started and have a look because what they're doing with these microwaves is they're literally cooking us, guys. They're literally cooking us. And it's a silent weapon. It's a silent weapon. It's cancer causing, and you are gonna see something that's gonna blow you away. It blew me away. And the reason why I'm not in the studio today is because it's in pieces scattered everywhere, right? I had to adjust everything because my studio is also my bedroom. It's a, it's a partially now finished basement where the studio area is finished. And I ran out of money, guys. So I'm living in a partially finished basement. That's what Studio 182 is. So yeah, I had such, uh, s such terrible uh, frequency levels down there that I had to, I have to move everything around. I had to move my bedroom around, my bedroom area around away from the studio area. The studio area, I'll show you, is such high levels. There's no wonder why I have such headaches all the time, okay? And I actually had to disconnect my wireless charger because that was one way that they were uh, attacking me with these microwave frequencies. So let's get started and I'll show you how this thing works. And I'll take you a walk around my house and show you what's going on, guys. Okay, so this is it. Okay, it's uh, this is a nice, I got this on Amazon, all right. Uh, and this set does radio frequency, electro frequency, and electromagnetic frequency, okay? 
course, radio frequency goes right to 666 as soon as I see that, okay? But anyways, okay, the electro frequency is something that you need to be concerned about in the bed at night, okay, because that will, will also keep you from uh, sleeping still. The biggest concern right here is this, the electro uh, magnetic frequency, because those are ELF waves, which are extremely low frequency. So this is uh, NV, Nevada Energy. Okay, this is Understanding EMF, Electromagnetic Fields. All right, I'm just going to go over this briefly and then draw some parallels here that are going to be quite shocking. Well, they were certainly shocking to me. Okay, guys, uh, do the research for yourself. This is no, uh, this isn't new news. I mean, uh, for the most part, pretty much everybody out there in the truth community knows that ELF frequency technology, uh, these microwaves are very, very dangerous, and it is a weapon, okay? With these magnetic fields, it not only interrupts our sleep patterns, okay, it's also used for mind control because you'll also have what is called an electro electric field, which uh, the energy field that is produced around appliances and such that is greatly amplified at this hour. They're do they're greatly amplifying these, these energy fields, and it's exactly like shock treatment that you're going to learn more about in this video. Minor, minor shock treatment that they use to... Uh, to keep people asleep, guys. Okay, this page here uh, discusses only man-made magnetic fields. Okay, whenever there's a flow of electricity, both electric and magnetic fields are created. Electric fields can be shielded by materials such as wood, metal trees, or shrubs. Magnetic fields, which are EMFs, guys, pass through most materials and objects. That's why it makes for such a silent weapon. Now, let's go down here and just take a look at typical magnetic fields near Nevada energy power lines. Okay, this is measured in what's called milligauss. Okay, so if you're directly under transmission lines or 100 feet away from overhead transmission lines and it goes down, okay? So let's look at the field levels. If we were directly under overhead transmission lines, it'd be between six and white 100 uh, milligauss for field levels. 100 feet away, I'm using this so that you guys will get familiar with the card I'm about to show you. 100 feet away uh, from overhead lines, it'd be 0.5 to 15. Okay, those are low, relatively low compared to what you're gonna see. All right, all the way down, okay, 20 feet away, four to 10 uh, milligauss, okay? Now let's look up at here. Here's where they're covering their butts. Look at this. All the things that we put closest to us, okay? Shavers, electric blanket, okay? Of course, we put shavers right to us, so they cover their butts, okay? It's from six inches away. Wow, four to 600. That's pretty crazy. Electric blanket. Well, both my son and wife use one day and night. 22 to 39, okay? We keep that very close to us. They are cooking us, okay? Why would an electric shaver be, you know, up to six times more than what a microwave oven is, okay? Now, a can opener, okay, things that were very close to and used frequently, 500 to 1500, all right? Why is it that these are giving off such high ELF levels, or EMF, yeah, ELF, extremely low frequency, which are microwaves, EMF? Why are these appliances and things giving off such high magnetic uh, or microwave radiation when here it tells us here if you're directly under them should be between, be between six and 100 and that's if you're directly under these transmission lines guys let's take a look at a couple of things here if would you feel comfortable guys let me ask you a question a yes or no answer would you feel comfortable sleeping next to your microwave oven while it's running all night by your pillow would you feel comfortable running your microwave oven all night by your pillow? Would you feel that would be okay? Just asking a question. Because why would... This here is a picture of my wife's alarm clock that's right by her head. And also my son has the same alarm clock. This here is just like an LED or an LCD. Very, very low um, 
uh, voltage going to this. This is just nothing. It's just a, an alarm clock, a Bluetooth clock. It's nothing, absolutely nothing. So why would then this alarm clock, okay, which I'm going to show you here in a minute, we're going to get into it, be giving off as much uh, magnetic frequency, microwave frequency, even more than a microwave oven, okay? This here's the card that came with the EMF detector. This is electromagnetic frequency. This is the electromag or the electro the electro field, and this is for uh, radio frequency. All right. Now these have a big significance to play in how we sleep at night. Okay, because when you have fluctuating fields around you, we know that our brains give off uh, frequency. So when those brain waves are manipulated, it'll pull us out of rapid eye movement sleep and make us groggy and tired now it tells us here if in the emf range that's what we're going to focus on today okay two point anything less than 2.5 uh, milligauss is normal okay if it's greater than 2.5 check it regularly greater than 30 milligauss not recommended for long stay greater than 100 milligauss Avoid long time stay in that area. Well, avoid long time stay is classified as a couple hours. Okay, so if you're sleeping next to something that's giving off greater than 100 milligauss, that probably wouldn't be a very good thing. That would be exactly like, uh, like slowly cooking your brain. Is just the alarm clock. It's just a basic alarm clock. I think it was probably 15 bucks because when my wife does not spend much money on things, she's one of those very uh very frugal people that gets great deals all the time so yeah she only buys things that are cheap and this here is looks like just something we maybe picked up at walmart or she ordered on amazon let's uh really get into it now guys so right now i have it set i like this because it's all in one even though it'll be set specifically for one here on emf it still gives you the the uh frequency waves for each one of these as well Okay, and it also gives its peaks, and it records. So this here was a little over 100 bucks. It was maybe 120 bucks, and I got it on Amazon. All right, I suggest everybody get one of these so you can check your house, all right? Especially uh, for people out there that are suffering from that tinnitus, the ringing in your ears that never seems to cease, and even I hear it fluctuating, and that's because you can see right here as I'm speaking, those radio frequencies are fluctuating. Now let's take a look here because we're on a 5G cam right now, okay? A phone, that is a 5G phone, actually. This phone has capabilities that are incredible. I can just actually point at something and it, it will direct me to its website without even doing anything. That's how crazy this thing is. Okay, there's a scrying mirror. I'm going to switch this now to electro frequency. Right now it's in the normal range. All you gotta do is point it. But as we get closer, you can see, even with it off, okay, this is my TV. That is at, and it says mixed. The reason why it says mixed is because it's picking up multiple signals and it's also picking up signals that are outside of this particular meter's range. But notice the EMF, the electromagnetic frequency, it's very low. Okay, that's very low, just like you would expect on my 5G phone that it would be very, very high, but it's not, okay? It was very, very low. So I was actually surprised. I expected my phone was going to be uh, quite high, actually. So let's switch it now to EMF which is the dangerous microwave radiation frequencies. I'm keeping this close because I'm walking around my house and I'm not giving that out to the public, guys, I'm sorry. Okay, now this is uh, right next to my wife's head. Okay, what you're looking at is her alarm clock. What I want you to look at now is the EMF frequency that comes out of this. and watch it pulse, because it's pulse radiation frequency technology, and she wonders why she can't sleep at night. That is not normal. 
they can attack you through all of these appliances and devices. Now this here happens to be a relatively new alarm clock, okay? But you see it pulsing there? That is what it is. It's pulse radiation technology. Okay, they can attack you through that, and they do. Now let's have a look, because that is completely abnormal. It says, I should be at a power line. That's how high the electromagnetic frequency is. It's as if we're in a microwave oven. I've actually had microwave burns on my face, okay? I've unplugged and gotten rid of all my electronics in my room. I'm trying to get my wife to do the same. This pretty much scared the crap out of her last night. So let's go to my son's room. Now let's watch it zero out. Okay, now there's nothing. That is direct line right by her head. Now let me explain to you something here. Let me switch it to electro frequency. That's radio frequency. Let's go to electro frequency. Pointing it at that scrying mirror right there. This is right where my wife sleeps at night. High, high levels, okay? Last night they were attacking me. This was jumping to 250, 260. And then when my wife was holding it, nothing would happen. There we go. See that? 245 it jumped up to. Do it again for me, will you? Whoa, 182. I'm not doing anything. I'm just standing here. Now they're bumping me. Let's see it again. There you go. Now, is that normal to you guys? I could actually feel the energy hitting me right now. And there it pulses, see it? That, now it's gonna pulse again. They're attacking me with microwave radiation. This is electro frequency. I could feel the tingling. Watch it come again. See that? I could feel my all my arms tingling from this frequency that's coming out of that scrying mirror. But either way, right here is where my wife sleeps at night. That's high levels of electro frequency, not a magnetic frequency, it's only a 0.1. That's nothing. Again, back to the alarm clock. Let's switch to, let's just see what it's at here. Okay. For EF, now let's change it again to EMF. Wow, that is microwave technology coming out of this clock. That is insane, guys. Why wouldn't my 5G phone be putting out this type of frequency? That is the cooking of humanity. Let's go check out my son's room. I had to move his room around. I had to move his room around last night because of this. See how it pulses? Whoa, that's crazy, 172. Most of us just aren't aware that a lot of these symptoms that we're having are directed energy. That's my son's Bible right there. King James Version 1611. Okay, well, apparently they don't want to bump me right now, but even so, that is insane high of, of EMF microwave radiation. Because again, look here, from the Nevada uh, field levels, okay? Should be six to 100 milligauss if you're directly under overhead transmission lines, then why is pulse technology coming out of our alarm clocks that is peaking at 300, okay? Well, I th it, if you look at my meter, it peaked at uh, 
288, I think it was, or 286. Okay, that's nearly 300. That would be exactly as if you were running your microwave oven right next to your head every night as you sleep. Look at the field levels. If you're directly under the overhead transmission lines, then why in the world would the meter be showing this? At nearly 300, 283 milligauss at my wife's uh, alarm clock, a simple little Bluetooth alarm clock that they are broadcasting levels at tremendous peaks. Okay, that's like a microwave oven next to your head. It shows it right here. 100 to 300 is your microwave oven when it's running. Why is it like when we're directly under overhead lines, which is 6 to 100 milligauss, directly under head transmission lines, but right next to my wife's head and right next to my son's head, because of their alarm clock, it's projecting an ELF, an electromagnetic frequency ELF millimeter wave technology at nearly 300 milligauss. Okay, so now let's take a look here. Uh, because going back all the way to right into the 1950s, you'll see where they started this. Uh, they brought in the Nazis through Project Paperclip. They are doing tests. They have been doing manipulation mind control since the 1950s on those that had no clue. They were unwilling test subjects, and they're still doing it to this day. Now we're going to finish this out from a video that I found on the YouTube channel, The Fifth Estate on MK Ultra, going all the way back to Project Paperclip, bringing in on these Nazis through mind control. This man's uh, uh, father, his dad, was a very successful man, and he's going to tell his story. Okay, this goes a long, long ways back. Okay, so imagine how far advanced it's come to today. I'll see you guys real soon. Much love. At Stanford University near San Francisco, Dr. Harvey Weinstein is an associate professor of psychiatry, and he also counsels students. Karen, why don't you tell me some more about the anxiety that you've been feeling? I feel every time that I sit down at the desk. Dr. Weinstein is a Montrealer who attended medical school at McGill University. But he refused to do his postgraduate work in psychiatry at McGill's Allen Memorial Institute because there, his father had been used as a human guinea pig. He says he became a psychiatrist to unravel the horror of what happened to his dad, Louis Weinstein. Uh, my father was a 49-year-old Montreal businessman who uh, was successful and dynamic and whose life was destroyed by, uh, by a series of treatments. He was someone who became anxious for a relatively short period of time, who went to get some help, and whose life was totally shattered by the experience. His father was one of the more than 50 patients treated here at the Allen Memorial Institute under a secret program designed to develop brainwashing techniques. The Allen has an international reputation as a renowned psychiatric institution. But in the late 50s, the patients knew nothing of a cascade of mind control experiments underway, including sensory deprivation and worse. He um, went in uh, one uh, winter evening and um, was put to sleep for approximately two months. He was... Um, given shock treatments of various kinds, gradually building intensity to an intensity and a frequency that was not certainly the routine or standard of the time. Electroshock is a standard but controversial treatment for extreme depression. However, at the Allen, the shocks were administered not two or three times a week, but three or four times a day for weeks on end. Patients were reduced to vegetables. It was called depatterning. And on top of that, the patients were given dangerous experimental drugs. He was given a whole slew of drugs, including amphetamines, likely PCP, um, um, insulin comas, uh, barbiturates of all kinds, um, LSD. Uh, he 
was then forced to listen to uh, recorded messages. It was called psychic driving. Once the patients were drugged and shocked to break down their minds, they were bombarded with taped messages for up to 16 hours a day. This is how one patient remembers it. At the end of the time, my father was someone who was unrecognizable to me or to anyone else in the family or his friends. He was someone who could not function in this world, whose uh, perspective didn't extend beyond the next five minutes, who had no recollection of the past and um, almost no recognition of the present. The CIA was behind it. Documents pried loose in 1979 showed that through a front organization, the Central Intelligence Agency funded what was called the MK Ultra Project. In Montreal, it was run by Dr. Ewan Cameron. These are the days and ours are the occasions. Cameron had a worldwide reputation as chairman of McGill's Department of Psychiatry and president of both the American and World Psychiatric Associations. And it is his mind, no less, which may destroy mankind. Attracted by Cameron's reputation, Dr. Mary Morrow went to study psychiatry under him. Instead, Cameron persuaded her to become a patient at the Allen. He drugged her, shocked her massively, erased 10 years of her memory, and even today, she has difficulty remembering some names and faces. He decided to ignore all principles, all medical ethics and medical principles. He used one of his own colleagues, me. How low can he get? Well, I suppose it could be said to have originated... It wasn't as though Cameron didn't know what he was doing. The Allen Memorial Institute itself were founded. Yeah, Dr. Cameron was present at the Nuremberg trials. So I find that for someone who in 1945, 1946 was involved in, in, in evaluating and considering what the Nazis had done to helpless people in concentration camps was five or six years later invading people's brains. <sighs> that was more than enough for a huge lawsuit launched five years ago by Louis Weinstein and eight other of Cameron's Canadian...